Thank you for joining AWIA for another video. Today we are looking at three disturbing 911 calls. The content of these calls and the stories behind them may upset you. Now let's go together and look at these three horrific cases. Betty Silver and Daniel Sanchez had a rocky relationship, during which Betty loaned David $1,000 so that he could fix his truck, which he never repaid. When the relationship ended, Betty tried to get the money, but to no avail. On December 15th, 2012, Sanchez agreed to meet her in a Best Buy parking lot to pay her back some of the money. When she entered his vehicle, he unloaded on her, striking her to the face and calling her names. He even took her phone and sent her new boyfriend threatening messages. After he'd calmed down, he suggested they spend the night in a motel to try and fix the relationship. She obviously said no and she was able to leave. As soon as she was safely home, she contacted Denver police and reported her ex. On Sunday, December 16th, officers arrested Sanchez on charges of false imprisonment, second-degree kidnapping, harassment and domestic violence. Sanchez spent the night in the Boulder County Jail and at 10 o'clock Monday night, he posted his $10,000 bond and was released. Sanchez left the jail furious and looking for vengeance. He drove straight from the jail to the mobile home where Betty Silver lived. On the way, Sanchez retrieved his 45 caliber Glock pistol. Once outside the mobile home, he shot out the glass panel of the rear sliding glass door and entered. Inside, his ex-girlfriend, her sister and her husband watched in horror. What's the address of the emergency? 11 464. I need you to say the address. I can't understand you. 11 464 Hot Springs. Okay, repeat the address one more time to make sure I have it right. No, 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 no. Hello? Hello? Okay, this Hello? is 911. What's going on? I just shot everybody right now. You just shot everybody? Yeah. Okay. What is your name? Daniel Sanchez. Pablo Sanchez? Yeah. Okay, how many people did you shoot? Uh, three. You shot who people? Who else, Who did you shoot? My ex-girlfriend, because she was shooting on me with Roy. Okay. And uh, I'm going to shoot myself right now. Pablo, I need you to stay on the phone with me. Okay, just wait until we get there. Pablo? Yeah. Okay, just stay with me, okay? Don't shoot yourself. Okay. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Um, like six months ago, I called my girlfriend cheating on me. Uh-huh. And, uh, I told Roy to, to stop talking to her. Okay. He wouldn't do it. He pressed charges on me. Kidnapping. I'm not on bond right now. But, uh... Okay. She pressed charges on you for kidnapping? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for my girlfriend, she was, uh, she okay. didn't know what she was doing. Okay, who else was there? Uh, what do you mean? Who else was there with with you tonight? Uh, the right other now? two people, do you know who they were? Oh, uh, her sister and her, and her uh, husband. Okay. 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 How did you get there? Uh, driving. You drove. You drove yeah. there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you there by yourself? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What room are you in right now, Pablo? Pablo. <laughs> Hello? I think he just shot himself.
After the 911 call, Weld County Sheriff's deputies and a SWAT team raced to the scene, arriving there at 4.18am. Once inside, they found Sanchez dead, having killed himself. They also discovered 29-year-old Max Ojeda and his wife Maria dead in the bedroom. Betty Silver was found in another room, dead from gunshot wounds. Officers would find a total of 16 spent shell casings scattered throughout the mobile home. The shocking deaths of three innocent people disturbed the community and indeed the world. On April 6, 2017, in Urbana, Ohio, 14-year-old Donovan Nicholas had an argument with his stepmother, Heidi Taylor, who was his father's living girlfriend. The argument led to Donovan viciously attacking his stepmother, stabbing her a reported 60 times before shooting her in the head. Directly after the murder, he telephoned Champaign County 911 and reported the murder, but the call was anything but straightforward. Although he admits his stepmother is dead, Donovan blames Jeff, who he describes as living inside of him. Donovan has clearly thought about repercussions as he sets his stall out early and that he is clearly trying to push for an insanity defence. However, his attempt at faking psychosis is terrible and obvious it's a self-serving act. Throughout the call, he mumbles and tries to sound frantic. This is somewhat blunted by his constant need for reassurances that he will not be hurt by police. Donovan Nicholas is certainly no master criminal. 911, where's your emergency? It's Clark County with the transfer. He's at 4328 Valley Pike. Sir, go ahead. I just killed my mother. And what happened, sir? I, I just killed my mother, and I need to go to the hospital. And you're at 4328 Valley Pike? Yes. And what happened? It wasn't me who, who, it wasn't me who killed her. It was Jeff. What happened? Who did it? Jeff. Yeah. I'm sorry, this is going to be really hard to explain. But I kind of have another person inside me. Like... Okay, are are you okay? I uh, know. I stabbed myself. You stabbed yourself? Yes. Uh, I, what, I, I, what happened I, to your mom? He killed her. He snapped. Okay, what's your, your name? My mine is Donovan Ashton Nichols. Donovan Nichols? Nicholas. All right, are you able to say who's with you? I I am by myself, me and Jeff. Okay, and, and what happened to your mom? What did you do? He, he, he stabbed her, then he shot her. All right, so he, he stabbed her? And then he shot her. And but, where did he but, shoot her? In the head. But I swear it wasn't me. It was, uh, it was Jess. Jess is inside me. Jess is inside you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> He sometimes takes control, and I have no, I have no control over him. Okay, where, are, where are you hurt, sir? On my thigh. No, 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 my, my, my leg. The, the, your leg? You, you, you stabbed your leg? Yes. Do you have any towels or anything on it that you can put yes. on it? Okay, yes. you did? Mm-hmm. All right. Now, why why did you hurt your mom, or why why did Jess hurt your mom? He 
she was always tired of her. She always, she always did drugs, and she told her like ignore me. Like once she hit me, and she was just, uh, she was done. Sir, where's the gun in the night? Knife, I don't know. You don't uh, know? Where no. are they? The gun is in the bedroom. I, I am down. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm downstairs. I don't have any. I don't have any weapon on me. Okay, so the gun is upstairs in the bedroom. Yes. What kind of gun is it? Is it a long gun? A it, short gun? It. It is a nine millimeter. It's a nine millimeter. Yeah. And you're downstairs, correct? Yes. Where's the knife at, sir? I don't know. You don't know where the knife is? No, I can't walk. You can't walk? No. Are you in the living room? No, kitchen. <laughs> is somebody on their way, like an ambulance or something? Yes, sir. I've got you help sent out, okay? Okay. I swear it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Just. Uh, Are you doing okay? I hurt too bad. You hurt? Mm hmm. Do you have any animals in the house with you? Or? No. No? No. Okay. Uh, is your house, is it far off the road? Is it up close to the road? It's close. Okay. I'm, I am so scared. I didn't, I, I, I didn't want to kill her. I hate Jeff so much. He's, he, he's gonna make me die in prison. Is this, is this Jess you're fault. talking about? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you couldn't have taken somebody else. No, it took me. It took me to be a stupid person. Sir, can you see the front door from where you are right now? It's not the front door, but it's the door that we always use. Alright, sir? Yes. So, so can you see the front door from your where you are in the kitchen? Yes. Yes. How mm -hmm. far away do you think you are from the front door? I don't know. About twenty feet, thirty feet, somewhere around there. The size of a normal kitchen. You're in. I know you're in your kitchen. Um, are you very close to the door? No. Um, I am against the back wall. Okay. <laughs> Am I going to get in, in, in trouble? Well, yeah, obviously. We're just, just going to, we're going to get your help out there, okay? I know uh, you're hurt, all right? I know okay. you're hurting. Is your, is your leg, do you still have a towel or anything on your leg? Yes. Okay. Can you, can you press it down on there? That way it stops the bleeding can help uh, stop it. Just press it on there hard, okay? Okay. Uh, um, uh. um, uh, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, I stutter. No, that's fine. That is perfectly okay, Donovan. That's okay. Okay? Okay. It is the people that are going to be coming in my house. Are they... Are, are, they, are they going to hurt me? Sir, nobody's going to hurt you, okay? Nobody wants to hurt you, all right? Okay. Cause no, nobody I, wants to hurt you. They just want to help you, okay? Just no... Just, 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 just no teasing or pepper spray or nothing like that? I swear, I'm not going to hurt anybody else. 
It was my fault. I'm just All hurt. Right. Are you doing okay? It hurt. It hurts really bad. What mm -hmm. kitchen knife did you did did Jess use? Kitchen knife. He he used a kitchen knife. Was it a a big one like um? It was a medium sized one. It's, it's bigger than a steak knife, but smaller than a bread knife. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I. I'm I'm just so scared. I don't want to die in prison. I that's why it wasn't my fault. You said Jeff did it. There's yes. Jeff there. Is he still there with you? Well, well, yeah, he. Yeah. Yeah, he's always in. He's always inside me. He always talks to me. He. Well, here, yeah, yeah, here they are. Where? Who's there? The police or the, uh, the, 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 the people. The people to help you? Yes. Uh, All right. Are you still sitting on the ground? Yes. Okay. Uh, they, they just walked past my door. Okay. Did you... Uh, All right. And your leg still... Do you still have that towel on that leg? Yes. Okay. You do? Yes. Why are they just standing there? You're just sitting there, you're against the back wall. Are you okay? Donovan? You okay? Anybody else here? No, no. He's green. Okay. He's on your back. Okay. Don't move. Who's up there? Donovan was arrested after his telephone call and was charged with first-degree murder. In 2018, Donovan received a life sentence with the chance of parole after 25 years and a three-year sentence for a firearms charge that he has to serve before the 25 years. Throughout his trial, and still to this day, Donovan claims he was not responsible for the murder and that he was possessed by the fictional horror character, Jeff the Killer, who he said was living inside of him. Officers and member of the jury did not believe this story, and found he was guilty of the murder. Donovan's earliest eligibility for parole will be in 2046, when he will be 44 years old. Brandy Worley and husband Jason's marriage was rocky, but they decided to work on the relationship for the sake of their children, Tyler and Charlie. Although there was some arguing and fighting in the family home, it was nothing worse than you might find in millions of other homes. However, on November 10th, 2009, an act of evil was committed in the family home in Darlington, Indiana. Upon arriving home after Charlie's dance recital, Brandy told the family she had to pop to Walmart to buy pipe cleaners for an upcoming school project. What she bought, however, was a large combat knife. When she came home, she told her husband that he could sleep on the couch where it would be a lot cooler, but he declined and said he would sleep in the basement. When Jason was sleeping, Brandy told Tyler to go into Charlie's bedroom where they would have a sleepover. Sometime later, Brandy entered the bedroom and stabbed her son in the neck. As she continued to stab him, Charlie awoke and asked, quote, What are you doing? Brandy then turned her attention to her daughter and stabbed her repeatedly in the neck. After the horrific attacks, which resulted in both children dying, Brandy turned the knife on herself and stabbed herself in the neck. She then telephoned 911. Montgomery County 911, where's your emergency? With 203 South Madison Street. In what town? Darlington. Hey, what's going on there? I just stabbed myself and I killed my two children. You stabbed yourself and killed your two children? 
Mm-hmm. Okay, and what's your name? Brandy Worley. Brandy what? Worley. Okay. How do you spell your last name? W-O-R-L-E-Y. And where are, they, where are the children at? In my daughter's room on the in, floor. In your daughter's room on the floor? Okay. What's uh, what's your phone number, Brandy? And and what caused you to do this today? My husband wanted to divorce and wanted to take my kids. I won't want him to my kids. Okay, and how old are your children? Seven and three. Ten and three? Seven. Seven and three? Mm-hmm. Okay. And... Where did you stab yourself at? In the neck. Okay, are you bleeding? Yeah, there's blood everywhere. Okay, and where are you at? In my living room. You're in your living room? Mm-hmm. Okay, and... Are you, are you armed now with the knife still? No, it's in my children's room. November 17, 2000. 16, 4, 36, 21. Okay, are you still there? Hello? Yeah. Okay, where's your husband at? Downstairs somewhere. Okay, what's his condition? I don't know, I haven't talked to him. And when you say downstairs, is he in a basement or? Yeah. November 17, 2016, 4, 36, 51. Okay, what's his name? Jason. Is what? Jason. Nathan? Uh, Jason. Jason? Jason Morley? Yeah. Okay. And do you have any other weapons with you? Uh, no. No? Okay. And are what are you feeling right now? I mean, are you are you tired? You're tired? Are you where Yeah. I took I took a lot of Benadryl. You took a lot of Benadryl? Yeah. Okay. November 17, 2016, 4, 37, 49. Is, is the front door unlocked? No, we don't use it. You know, you just use the back door? Yeah. Side, it's on the side. It's unlocked. Okay, and is there anyone else in the residence besides your children and you and your husband? Um, I called my mom. You called your mom? What did she say? I think I can call 911 and she'd be here in a second. What's your mom's name? 
Bud Maisel. Can you spell that for me? Uh, the last name? No, just I'm having a hard time. I have a hard time hearing you. What did you say your mom's name was? Oh, Rosemary Bell. Rosemary Odell. Zell. Zell. Okay. Rosemary Zell. Okay. Do you have a phone number for her? Brandy was arrested and charged with two counts of first-degree murder. She originally pleaded not guilty but in January 2018, she changed to guilty. On March 19th, 2018, she was sentenced to 65 years for murdering Charlie and 55 years for the murder of Tyler. It is highly unlikely she will ever be released. Thank you all so much for watching. Please comment below, subscribe to the channel, and join us next time on another disturbing journey. Until next time, long days and pleasant nights.